Good morning, everybody. Can you guys hear me now? And when I'll increase the volume. Now you can hear me? Fine, nice, clear, crisp. Okay, so let's start. Welcome to the third paper in your sequence after yesterday's class for which I am seeing a lot of messages. That is a separate part. Now let's begin with our course. We are going to take care with business communication and uh, four session plan like normal this is the course outline reference is your textbook that you've got that gray or blue color whatever you call it textbook so that is the reference material and i would request you there are these two books that i will that i have written on the screen just note these two names down if you get a chance uh, maybe you get it from a library from your friend or you want to purchase it whatever these are good two good books for referencing when it comes to business communication and uh, if you can lay your hands on it, nothing like it. Otherwise, fine, my slides will cover up the matter. Now, it's a four session course. Okay, before I start, two, uh, one point of recognition that you guys keep in mind. I want lots of answers. I am not going to sit here and just talk and bore you to death. I don't want that. I want reverts. I want this chat box to be filled up. So I suppose if we participate, I think we'll have both, both of us will have fun, and uh, I think it will be a more uh, interesting learning session. So please, anytime, anytime you want, just stop me. Wherever you feel there is a query, just drop me a chat. And whenever I ask anything, just please try and revert as much as possible. It will make everybody's life easy. Let's make this a uh, interactive session that is helpful to everybody okay so just keep this point in mind and uh, let's continue ahead so like i was saying it's a four session system so this is how we'll be breaking down the four sessions today is introduction next week will be reading writing then official interaction and fourth will be your grammar skills perception that kind of now, if you want, you can note down this session-wise breakup. This will help you revise once the class is over. This is being mapped to your textbook. So, if you want, you can copy this down or mark it out in your textbook so that uh, you, when you go back and study, you have a reference point of doing it. Okay, just note this down for half a second. I'll pause, then we'll move on. Okay, everybody got it down. Can I move on? Just five, just seven, eight numbers, yar. Fair. Okay, okay, we'll wait. Okay, okay, we'll wait half a minute. Maya, once you're through, just tell me. Sumit, so audio reset is fine. Should I reduce the volume? Is it? I am getting a full 100% picture. My LAN is running fully well. I don't know what could be the reason. Now I think it's clear. I think it's clear. Fine. Okay. So let's just continue. Let's just try and make the most of it. Let's not allow technology to rule our lives. Let's just move on. Let's just see how much we can learn. Maybe video ka kya karo gya lo, koi fayda nahi hai. You will be scared, you will never, you will never have, you will never come back and talk to me, you will be so scared. So, joke aside, let's move on. So, this is our session plan. Four sessions. So, today is this one. Uh, whatever is there on this session. Then, all of this we will keep covering. I will just skip them. Let's not waste time on this. We can always catch up later. Okay, now anything you guys want to add in terms of your learning, Please tell me. I will be more than happy to accommodate. Now, why is my slide getting stuck? 
Uh, one second. I think my slide got stuck for some reason. Okay, now we are beginning with the topic called communication. Now I want to Alok Abzara Thodi there. Let's just forget I am Tushan Marva, your coordinator. Usko bhul jao. Let's just come, let's just look at me in terms of business communication. Let's just do that. Ye hum bar, bar, bar mein bhi kar sakte. Okay? And Apeksha, I'll give the names of the books later. Abhi just let me continue. Please, uh, in the break, I'll share that slide again. Aisa kar lete. Abhi just hang on till the break. I'll share the slide again. Abhi let's just move on. Let's not get bogged down. We are already 10 minutes down in the system. So let's just move on. So now, let me come to my opening questions. Now, this is where I want to see you guys answer me. I would appreciate a revert. I think that would make our life easy. So let's say, now, question number one. Now, what is communication? How would you define communication? What is communication? That is my question. What is communication? Way of sharing thoughts. Okay. What else? Exchange of ideas and thoughts. Mode of exchange of thoughts and ideas. Transfer of info. Make people understand. Exchanging idea. Two way process of communication. Make others understand your thoughts. Art of putting your ideas across interaction, exchange. I think if we go through the chat window, I think we've covered all of it. So let me just put it down in brief. Communication has five, six key elements. It has an idea. It has a exchange. It has a effectiveness. It has a language skills. It has this concept of feedback. Okay. And one thing more. Now, when you guys say two-way communication, now look at my question number four. Is communication a two-way process only? Are you sure it's only a two-way process? Can't it be a one-way process? If I suddenly keep quiet and only these slides run, isn't that a one-way process? Isn't that a one-way process? Just some noise that you hear. That is also communication. That is also communication. Something or the other is there. It, it is both ways. It can be a two-way process. It can be a one-way process. But what happens? Now let's say take an example. Uh, when we are talking to somebody, let's say we are interacting with each other. Both of us are interacting. I am you, you, taking you guys as one entity. So if both of us are interacting, then we are having feedback. This is a two-way process. The feedback is immediate. My speech is immediate. Your feedback is immediate. However, when we take something like a TV advertisement, when there is an advertisement in a TV, there what is your fee feedback to that advertisement? Take this question. TV ad, what is the feedback for a TV ad? There is a feedback. Think. Think there is a feedback. There is surely a feedback. Yep. Purchase. The purchase decision is the response. That is your feedback. That is your feedback to that advertisement. That is your feedback. Okay. Now, let's come to another concept. Uh, now, uh, why do we need to communicate? Uh, from an organization point of view, why do we need to communicate? Why do we need to communicate? Understanding, okay. What else? Come on guys, there are 48 of us on the screen. I am seeing only a few 10-15 people reverting. What about other guys? I know it's Sunday morning fever. I know it's difficult to get up and attend a class. That too for a boring topic. Rest of the guys, please wake up, have some coffee, have some glucon D or whatever. Let's just have other people also giving us feedback. Yeah?
Okay, now when we look at it from an organization point of view, you have why do I need to do all this? Why do I need to interchange information? Why do I need to regulate? Why do I need to promote understanding? I need to get everybody on the same page. If my colleagues are not on the same page as I am, how the hell are we going to work as a team? Get my point? That is the focus, to take everybody along. That is why we need to communicate. Now, what is the potential problems when it comes to communication? What is What are the potential problems when it comes to communication? Any guesses? Okay, language barrier, fine. Different understanding, misinterpretation, perception of receipt versus delivery. Anubhav, can you please explain this? Okay. Uh, 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 different views, distortion, ego problem, understanding related issues, fine. Okay, different point of view. Okay, 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 okay. Now, Anubhav raised a good point here. If you just go back up the chat window. Now that was a good point, perception of receipt versus delivery. And he explains that what I want to explain, you should understand the same. So that means that we are, there are two things. There is a communication of the idea, that is item number one. Then there is receptiveness to the communication. These are two things that we need to keep in mind. There has to be a communication of idea. There has to be a receptiveness. If you don't want to receive what I'm trying to say, you will never, there will never be communication. Na? Communication will never be successful. So this is what you need to keep in mind. Now let's move on to the next topic. This is fine. Oh, okay. Now, when we talk of communication, who assigns meaning to the dialogue? Whose responsibility it is to convey the meaning of the communication? Let's say I have an idea in my head. Whose responsibility is it to communicate, to make sure that he, that the right idea is getting through, the right message is getting through? That is the, the speaker, the sender, whatever you guys call it, the transmitter, whatever. So in our case, it will be me. I am the one who is giving meaning, you are just interpreting it. However, when it comes to a child's cry, what, who gives the meaning to the cry? Can the child tell you what he or she wants? I don't think so. I don't think so. That a child can tell you what he or she wants. They have just one level of noise. They have just one level of sound. That's it. Until at least one year, two years, the child can give you no meaning at all. It's just noise. If we look at it honestly, if we ignore the fact that that, that kid is our own kid or whatever, it's just noise. There's nothing else. It is us as the receivers who have to make out the meaning. We give the meaning to the child's cry. So that is why I say that it's meaningless but meaningful. These are all the purposes why we need to communicate all that stuff. Let's move on. Okay. Now let's just go through these definitions. Two definitions, I think one of them is there in your textbook. Now, yeah, my point was that the child wants something but he cannot say that whether he is hungry, he is scared or he is wet himself. Na? That we know. Na? As listeners, we know that. That was my point of view. That the sender, in this case, the sender is not giving the communication. It is we who are taking communication. Yeah, we know he is making a, he facing a problem, but he cannot tell us, na, that I am, if we have a problem, we can say we have a stomach ache. He cannot say that, na, till the age of two years, three years, he cannot say that properly, na. So it's the mother or the father or the parent, whatever you may call it. They have to interpret. So that was, I just wanted to give you a second perspective on communication. So let's just go through this definition on the screen. Let's just see how we understand it.
<coughs> Nito, I think voice is fine enough from my end. I think it's running properly. It's, it's giving me 100% signal, yaar. Voice me. I don't know what is the challenge, but it's giving me 100% signal. Okay. So once we go through this first definition, okay. Uh, so what does the first definition tell you? What does the first definition tell you? Okay, uh, now in this definition, what is the important thing that we can see from here? In the first definition, what is the key point? Key point here is when it gets the desired reaction. Key word here is mm, desired reaction. That is the key word, desired reaction. So if no, just simply communicating will become a monologue. Unless I am able to force people or entice people or make people realize that they need to listen to me. Because see, communication also needs to be effective. Na? We are forgetting this word. Na? Communication is not just noise. It has to be effective. It has to make sense. It has to make sense. Why am I communicating? Come on, yeah, if I just stand up in the center of the road and start talking, pe people will send me to the nearest psych to the nearest psychologist. Yeah. There has to be some effectiveness to that communication. Na? Has to be some e some efficiency for it. Na? Okay. Uh, information now see the next one. There's a one good word here. Information is made productive. That knowledge that I have in my brain. I am making that productive. I am making that productive. Okay. So this does the definition part. Now these are the prime requirements to communicate. There is a topic, there is a message, there is a sender, there is a receiver, there is feedback. Okay. Hmm. So, when we look at these five segments of communication, the topic is the idea. Now, how is the topic different from the message? How is the topic versus message? How is the topic versus the message? Typo errors, please ignore. I am not very good at typing, so please ignore typo errors. Please don't hold them against me. Okay. See, a topic is the idea. Now just keep this difference in mind. Now just let me finish my sequence. Topic is the idea. The message is how I am going to say it. That is the message. How I am going to say it. So whenever I am, if I am communicating through speech, my message will have a different structure than if I am writing it out or if I am SMSing it or if I am posting it on my Facebook or I am writing it to my friends, whatever. That is the message. Message is dependent on the medium. Message is dependent. Fir se typo. Message is dependent on the medium. I am going through Sunday morning blues. <sighs> okay. So when we say messages, uh, so message wala part we have said that it's dependent on the medium, and it is also dependent on the skills of the sender, which in this case has very poor typing skills. Skills of the sender will determine the effectiveness of the message. 
how efficiently can I package the idea from my head into words? Now you guys tell me. See, here, we are all we are all from a good educational background. We all have good communication skills. Fine. For whatever language we have, we have good communication skills. However, aren't there times when you just suddenly draw a blank? How to send your idea across to the next person? I don't know. Mere saath it happens. I just suddenly just draw a blank. How do I phrase it without offending the person or without destroying the content of my message? So this is the challenge that the sender has, because like we said earlier, he has a responsibility for making sure that the right message goes across to the right person. So if I don't have my skills, then I need to adjust my skill set. I need to learn those skills then. So that is one thing that you guys need to keep in mind. That uh, message has to have your response. You are responsible for making sure that the right thing is going there. Now the receiver's responsibility. What is the receiver's responsibility? As a receiver, you also have some responsibilities. Let's say you are the receiver. In this communication, you are the receiver. What is your responsibility? Number one, before coming to the response, it is your responsibility to listen. It is your responsibility to listen. Then, once you listen, then you come to. Now, let me write down the sequence. Number one is listen. Number two is understand. Number three is respond or react, whatever, or revert, whatever. So this is the three-step process for the receiver's requirement, the receiver's duty. Three-step duty of the receiver: listen, understand, respond. Now it's not necessary that the response will always come in the same way that the message has come. So in our case, for example, the message is going through speech, but the response is coming through a chat. So ourselves, we have a live example of how the feedback doesn't come in the same way. Usually, feedback is more कुछ नहीं, we are back, relax, we are back, chill, we are all back. Let me jack up the volume so that back to normal. Let's just take a chill pill. Let's just go back to where we were. Let me go up. We were talking of feedback like feedback itself went away okay now when it comes to feedback now uh, why is feedback necessary feedback can be verbal it can be non verbal anything you can shoot the person that's also feedback honestly speaking that's also feedback 
anything that comes back regarding the message. Now, if I'm not clear, I can make out looking at the eyes that, okay, you are not clear. I can then try and adjust, re-explain. If you are understanding, then you can tell me that we have understood, then I can move on. Because without feedback, how do I know whether I am being effective? As you are rightly saying, the key point with communication is effectiveness. So if I don't know whether I am being effective or not, how will I be able to participate properly? Get my point? So that is the feedback part. Now let's come to the next concept. Now this is the concept where we will introduce two new words, encoding and decoding. Okay, any computer engineers, can you give me an idea what is encoding, what is decoding? And please give me the dumb person version. In just one sentence, if anybody can give me the dumb person version. Hmm? Anybody? Encoding ka dumb person version. Any engineers who are part know this? Not understandable at all. Na. Encoding to change the charge in the electric signal. Change sending the idea in some code form. How many of you are computer engineers, by the way? Any computer engineers, electric engineers? Kitne? I think there are a few engineers. You guys need to go back and start making yourself appear more simple. Now you see. You guys have the knowledge. See, this is precisely the point I'm trying to say. I'm not, I'm not singling out for negativity. I'm just using you guys as an example. See, you have the knowledge. How do you simplify it? How do you simplify it? That is the skill. And those of you who are managers, you know the, how important the skill is. Those of you who are on the way to becoming managers, please keep this skill in mind. Please keep this skill in mind. How to simplify? How to simplify? It's not, it looks nice, it's easy to say in the technical terms, but if the other person doesn't understand, what's the fun of it? Eh? Make yourself understood. Make yourself effective. Just keep these things in mind. Just learn that skill. If you have it, fine, polish it. If you don't have it, acquire it. How to make yourself simple? I don't know you have heard of this term or not. This is called just keep this term in mind. Just keep this term in mind. Keep it simple. Whatever, silly or stupid means the same thing. I don't know. I am just trying to tell you that concept. Just keep that thing in mind. It, the, that is the skill. That is a real skill of how to make yourself simple. How to keep your communication simple yet effective. Okay. Now encoding. Now I will give you a very really class, class 2 kid example. Okay. This is an encoder. Now, what is the what is rat? What is rat? Tell me, what is rat? What is art? What is the score? Tell me, what's the number for these two words? So now, and if I give you a term. Let's say I give you a term. What does this mean in words? What does this number mean? 156, the number I've written. What does this number mean? In terms of word. Tar. No, no, I'm going to stick with our encoding. What you're saying is right. That's the encoding of your phone. Or the alphabetical sequence. However, Tar. So, if I give you a number, then you can decipher it. Na? That is encoding the what I did. Tushar equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is encoding. Decoding is what you are doing right now when I say number 156. 
that is communication in its very basic form now i think what we'll say the lazy version of communication the lazy man's guide to communication two lines that's it that is encoding that is decoding end of story so just keep this thing in mind now encoding is dependent upon the message medium so the grammar of speech is always going to be different from the grammar of writing which is always going to differ from the grammar that you use on your sms sometimes your grammar in sms is really scary and i see some sms of my friends or some students sometimes it's really scary the grammar that you guys use you know this is the time when we say shakespeare must be tossing and turning in hell the amount of grammar that you guys use sometimes really scary please don't use it in your official mails i don't know if you do it or not but if you do please avoid immediately i have seen official mails also but any kya kya likha hota hai i'll give you one example some day i'll pull out one person's mail i remember abhi in this admission cycle only he didn't join up itna i'm sure he's not one of your batch mates but that guy had typed out an sms on the mail id matlab itna bura hal tha all the you are info thanks thx tx whatever i don't know what all he had written i have forget a forgotten half of it if i find that mail i'll i'll share it in the next class so please don't do that now that's an official mail yaar he's sending it to an educational institution please usme to theek thaak kar lo that's my question so now the communication cycle is like this begins with the idea goes to encoding goes to decoding again receiver then feedback and then back to the cycle it's a cyclical process of communication it is what we say a cyclical process okay next slide.